I feel like these two look like they like to have a good time. Wait, they look familiar. Do we know them? They look like they like would like take some Mama Juana shots. Mama Juana Mama and Juana. DR? <laughs> That's them, Mike. Play the video, Mike. Play it. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Croqueta Chat. We are back. We're back. We're back. It has been a hot minute. It's been, it's a hot been minute. over yes. a year. And it's bittersweet. It's, it's, it's nice because, I mean, at least we've been the new kids on the block for like at least a year. We got a whole year. I, I, I thought that we're going to have two seasons this year. Um, and it looks like production got some news that they were going to do 90 minute episodes. So they had to record a whole nother season. So they had to wait a whole year. And, you know, we, we had the, we had the spotlight for about a year, but yeah. So it's been sweet because like we were, we were the ones that were coming now and it was so exciting, but it's nice to have this together now that we could still share and talk about it. And now we're out of the picture. And, and I love doing this. Yeah. And and to let everybody know out there, we do this just for fun because we love the amazing race. Yes. 100%. And I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you, Mike. Like, you're the tech guy. <laughs> uh, you know what? Like, I'll take all the you're credit. The you know, yeah, it is, it is because of you guys. All this. <laughs> Some yes. guy named Mike. Some guy named Mike is here. That's right. I, we would not be doing this if it wasn't for you, Mike. Yes. Thank you for taking time out of your day. Okay, everybody, good. he has four kids. Though. He just had another kid. <laughs> yeah. He's got another child. <laughs> Congratulations. You have four boys. I do. Holy I do. I have four boys shit. now. Yeah. Newsflash. A year has passed. I live somewhere else now. I used to be in Miami with you guys. Now I'm in Orlando. Yeah. I have a fourth boy now. So it's four boys. Yeah. Um, so it's been great. It's been awesome. And let's go back a little bit, right? Let's let's finish off last cool. season, right? We you guys got third place and you guys hosted the after we party. We didn't win a million dollars. I know you guys didn't win. <laughs> but what did you guys win? What did you guys actually do, do, do win for getting third place? So we won a trip to Spain. We won a trip to Japan in one of our first places. We got $10,000, $5,000 each. And then for third place, we got $10,000. So even if we wouldn't have gotten paid anything, we would have done the race anyways. Uh, it was just an incredible experience for sure. It's a pretty good reward. Have you gone to Spain or Japan yet? Uh, no, but we got Expedia points. So this is our the first season ever that Travelocity didn't sponsor it. And Expedia did. And it turns out in the past, you had to use your trip. There was no like other option. Um, we got Expedia points and we have been using our points left and right <laughs> for just anything. Like we went to Cabo to go see Derek. Oh, yeah, that's for right. Birthday. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've been using it for Colombia back and forth yeah. a bunch. We still got a lot of points left. So our goal is to use most of our points for Japan. I and think we're going to do that next We're week. going with Derek and Claire. Oh, nice. Very cool. Well, hopefully, hopefully, yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So um, Expedia, hit us up if you know you want to sponsor the show because, you know, they're using the points all the time, you know? Expedia, hit us up if you want us to create content for you. <laughs> Expedia, I already sent you an email. Come on, look at your, over your email, dude. Please reply. Please check your spam. I swear to God. <laughs> Try to be an influencer. Come on, Expedia, please. All right, so talk to me about um, the we did the po we did the post uh, post show right. You guys hosted the, the show in Miami, right? The very last episode. I actually met Logan, who was the guy who called me some guy called Mike, right? <laughs> and we saw a whole bunch of other people. It was a great night. Uh, everybody met together. Um, talk to me a little about it. A, a little bit about it. I, it felt like my wedding, dude. <laughs> like, I, we haven't had so many people that we loved in one spot since our wedding. And you know what's crazy is that you know throughout the years you meet friends for life, and there were friends that we are now best friends with, like from my new fire department. Um, and they didn't go to our wedding, but they went to this event. And yeah. it was really cool to see everybody there together with my family and see all our friends and family interact with a cast as well. Yes. And then we all went out afterwards. And that was a whole other story that we're not going to talk about. 
I'm croquet that shit. That is, Secret. but it's. It, it was Miami, dude. It yeah. was very Miami, and it was a blast. It was a blast, and it was, and like Louis said, it was great to have everyone there. And even though we didn't win a million dollars, it was so beautiful to get everyone together in one spot and share that moment because we spent so much time with them. And now we've gained so many friends through Amazing Race. Like, we went on a cruise with James and Will, with Laura, with oh, Kayla. Great like, people. Dancy Claire and it's like bringing all these people together and they are incredible people. And if it wasn't for the race, then we would have never met them. So we're really thankful. Dude, and we're really happy. It's, it's been a, a, such a great year. It's been just a little over a year. Like Michelle said, we've met so many great people from different shows and I'm just so lucky to be living my life. Like I'm, I'm honestly blessed. I, 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 I'm just so happy. Um, yeah, it, you know what's funny, Mike? Like the next day, Derek didn't even have a voice doing his interview. <laughs> I didn't hear my voice and my ears were ringing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my every ears podcast were we would too. get on, yeah, every podcast we would get on, they would first tell us right away, "Hey, what did you do to Derek's voice?" <laughs> Let's just say and Derek is that we almost saw the sun rise the next morning. <laughs> Yes. This is true. Yes. <laughs> we'll leave, we'll leave it at that. All right. Well, let's continue. Yeah, 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 yeah. sure I did. All right. So cool. You guys had a, a great time. We all had a great time. Let's talk about challenges we've had, right? More importantly, the challenge. Lewis, talk to me about it. What can I say about the challenge? A whole different ballgame. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, they came after your boy day one. <laughs> And in Mike, at the end of the day, dude, I'll just say this about the challenge. Um, no matter what, people are going to stick to their shows. And you see that going on right now in Challenge USA Part 2. Um, and if they don't equal, if they don't make it equal going in, Amazing Racers are going to have a tough time. Um, you know, I, I mean, Kayla did make a final. I don't know why. I have no idea why she wasn't chosen for this season. That would have been a big help. But when you have two amazing racers, man, it's just going to be easy targets. Easy targets. I just think there's so many incredible people that can do so well on the challenge. It drives me insane that they don't even it out. Because they do even it out, then that would be something fun to watch. Like how these three equal shows are going against each other and what's going to happen. Because right away, you got to go against your team or something automatically, like against your show. So it would be very interesting to watch, I think. Uh, lots of logistics, I'm guessing. I'm not gonna, not gonna throw the challenge under the bus. You know, they got to do what they got to do. But it was, it's a pretty good show, mm -hmm. Lewis. I'm very sad that you left pretty early, but uh, I think you did pretty good. I think you did pretty good for at your least, first time. At least it was. I can't wait. I can't wait to see him again on it. At least it was in uh, episode one that I was on. <laughs> that was. That would have been. Embarrassing. And you know what's funny is that. Um, I didn't know when you were getting kicked out. Just in like Amazing Race too. I didn't know how far you got. I didn't like you guys didn't tell me anything. So the whole time I was like, Michelle, Michelle's my wife. Michelle, <laughs> I hope it's not this episode. And I was like the whole episode. I was like, I'm like, oh, thank God it's team one. All right. He's good. He's good. And then the next episode, I'm like, I, I think this is it. I think it's this episode. And then you'd be fine. And then I think it was like the third or fourth episode that you got kicked out. But dude but it was it was cool i mean season two was a complete 180 compared to season one and it was cool to go against challenge legends like 100%. those are some those people got i mean west bananas they have so many stories um the ladies that were all on they're all great um and it was really cool to go just to meet them and, and to to say that yeah i battled against these challenge legends right here these vets um Will I do it again? Michelle's always pushing me to do it again. <laughs> I'm not sure yet, dude. Because, Mike, you know, there's a lot of different things going on in my life, man. I, I, I got a career. You know, if I get hurt on TV, that's not going to be good. That's not, <laughs> that's not good for me, man. If I can't go back to work, that's not good. You know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things going on, man, that I just can't, 
it, it, I, I've taken so much time off already yeah. for the amazing race and for the challenge, yeah. you know, I can't take all this time off. It's difficult yeah. for me. Well, I mean, so, silver, we'll silver lining is you might have a career in modeling, right? Cause I saw those pictures. <laughs> we have one right here too. Yep. It's way over there. That Let's way. give uh, <laughs> some props to Bryce, Isaiah. <laughs> so amazing race 35 facts all right wait, amazing race 35 wait, facts here is one thing oh here is one thing that lewis would do if he gets called back i don't know where you're going with this amazing race all stars yes oh okay. i don't know where you're going with it <laughs> of course i'll go back for amazing race all stars Hachi. no amazing race all stars there's no question like i'll definitely go back but but the challenge is there's just man you know what lewis <laughs> lewis the race. No, you know no, 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 amazing no, no, no. race if if they call you to go again to this time take me i know how to, i know how to use a piano right <laughs> <laughs> i went to music school i know how hey, to, i know how to work a piano i've been practicing even though <laughs> i went away from my lessons um i practiced for about you know twice twice a week three times a week for about a month and a half yep. but i never got to the black keys <laughs> Well, let's let's keep going, Mike. Let's, right, let's right, get into right, the race. Right, let's get I know into. Are gonna come in here for this. Let's get into Amazing Race season thirty-five. Quick facts, Woo! go, Lewis. Oh, here's some facts. Thirteen teams, Mike. There have there has never been thirteen teams on the Amazing Race. Because usually it's how many? Twelve. I thought usually eleven. Oh, eleven teams, seasons. really? Well, it was like the first season, and then it's usually been eleven, um, because they always do. Uh, uh, non-elimination legs. Man, right. you got some wine? Where's our wine? I do. You messed yeah. up. It's some, some All right, they're back wine. to public travel, Mike. Say the facts and I'll get it for you. Boom. Thank you. Don't trip on the course, please. All right. Uh, we're back to 13, uh, 13 scenes, Mike. Public travel. So, Mike, this is one of the things I love the most about The Amazing Race. But as a racer... Trust me, I prefer to go on my private jet. All right. Oh, they're going to have to take their. The, uh, they're going to have to make their own reservations on planes and stuff. Oh yeah, dude, it's back to back. To oh, back travel. to now, normal. Yes. Right. Wait. So, um, most recent seasons of Amazing Race, they haven't booked most of their flights. It's usually on the clue, right? Right. Sometimes they give them the option of of two flights, right? Right. So. You pick the earlier flight or the more direct flight, and then there's the other option. So it's not like a free for all of what how to get there. Right, right, right. There's usually options on the clue, right? Um, so public travel, Mike. Like, I feel like Michelle and I would like, would would have killed it with public travel. You think so? Because obviously, because she obviously travels oh, a right. lot yeah, with yeah. Pitbull, and one of the hardest things about public travel is the fact that um, you're exhausted. Like, it's very exhausting from what I heard from all the other racers that have been here. Cheers, Mike. Cheers. Um, so, me me as a firefighter, I'm used to running on fumes. I'm, I'm used to, yeah. you know, doing tasks with very little sleep. Yeah. So, me and Michelle, we still would have gone far if it wasn't for public travel, I believe, right? Uh, we Obviously, we still made it to a final with, with mostly uh, private travel. Um. No non-elimination legs. Okay. But there is 13 episodes, Mike. So that means there has to be two mega legs at least. Yep. If, if there's yep. no non-elimination legs, there means there has to be two mega legs that extend one more episode each. All right? So they do this for content. And I think people get confused. Oh, this... Oh, it... Uh, a mega leg is pretty much a non-elimination leg. No, it's not. No, it's not, not. for the racers. Non, not exactly. Non-elimination legs are different from mega legs. Why? In a non-elimination leg, you get to a mat. You see Phil. Phil surprises you. Oh, it's a non-elimination day. You're safe. Last team is safe. You don't see Phil in a mega leg. They tell you in the beginning of that leg, today is a mega leg. So it's a long ass day, all right? It's very long. For the viewer, it sucks because you don't see an elimination because it's two episodes long, right? You have to wait two weeks for it. 
But it's a non-elimination leg because you don't see Phil. There's no second chances. When you get to the mat, if you're last, you're done. It's not the same thing. Okay? <laughs> it's almost like a guaranteed so, you're done, uh, too. You, there is no hopes and dreams that maybe Phil is going to tell you this is a non-elimination leg. It's not going to happen. Exactly. Mm -hmm. For the racers, yeah. the pressure is on. Yeah. yeah. But 100%. for the viewer, it kind of sucks because it takes two weeks, right? Yep. Uh, there's going to be two mega leg U turns and express hey, passes back. Right? They're back. They're yes. back. So, because of that, and there's 90 minute episodes. So, Mike, this season is going to be insane. It's going to be awesome. I'm Why? Excited. Because with the 90 minute episodes, okay, since there's not going to be, there, since there's more time to fill, they're going to add some airport drama that we miss, mm -hmm. and there's going to be some inter-team drama, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Because that's what makes, um, like, the other shows different, because in recent Amazing Race seasons, there hasn't been um, inter-team drama. Right. It's just the challenges, right? Right. But now we have some time to see some of that yep. drama. Yep, yep, So you get everything. You get more time. You get non-elimination legs. You get public travel back. You get inter-team. Uh, this this season is going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. And another thing about that is I feel like you will learn more about everybody's story. And you'll get a lot 100%. of more ups and downs. Because there was teams that had fights that, that never showed. There was times where we were down that they never showed. Because it's just an hour is too much There's, to fit yeah. in with so many teams. Yep. So... I, I'm I'm excited for this. Oh, it's gonna be it, it's it's a perfect season, Mike. It's a perfect season. It's great. If, and thirteen teams, like everything together, it's awesome. If there's one thing that I would hopefully be cautious about, and this is the thing that I didn't like about some previous uh, Amazing Race seasons, is that sometimes you get into that, um, you know, the, a lot of teams start, you know, they, they start getting along and all this kind of stuff, and then the first team gets to the U-turn and they're like, we decide not to U-turn everybody. And then the second team, and then we decide we're not going to U-turn. And I hope that that doesn't that doesn't happen. Not necessarily because I want the teams to bicker or, or to or to fight or anything, but it's like I want you to go all out. You know what I mean? When you go on this race, if you're first, I want you to try to make sure that you get your biggest competition out, and and you know you try to get the lead as much as you can, and and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. That seems to me like. And I'm hearing. I'm not sure if this is right, but I, I think I did hear this is going to be a single U-turn, so it's not a double U-turn anymore. Oh. So maybe people are more inclined to use it because only one person is going to use it. But all depends because if you're first on there, whoever you U-turn, you got to make sure they go home. They go home, yeah. Because yeah. if not, they're coming after you next. And actually, we were we always thought about if we were going to U-turn someone, we would probably uh, U-turn Marcus and Michael. <laughs> but it would have been a very scary thing because if they came back... <laughs> They would have come out for us for sure. <laughs> Sorry, Marcus and Michael, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what else, Mike? That's oh, pretty oh, much I got all another the facts question. I I, do you but, know that if yeah. so, in the previous uh, races, um, depending on when you finished, that was also the amount of time that you had after you started. Does that make sense? So it's like if the between first and second they yeah. finished twenty minutes apart then the first team yeah. would start and then 20 minutes later the second team would start and then 30 minutes later the third do you know if it's going to be like that or if it's going to be like how your season was I, I every think 15 it, I minutes? think it's pretty much I'm, I'm pretty much going to be back to that 12 hour pit stops 12 hour break between uh the end of the leg and the next and the start. start of so, the next one yeah it, yeah um some seasons changed it up but i think it's going to go back to that but once again usually when they get to the airport they equalize anyways oh and by the way I I, so I know that you, you guys were talking about airport while I was doing uh, the wine. I know that we would have done like really good because of, uh, I know Lewis talked about it, but I feel like what adds on to the drama as well is the bitterness of your back hurting from being on the plane, like a regular plane, mm -hmm. the being bitter from not sleeping, all this stuff like adds on once you add the airport. So like, all of that is going to create drama, not only within the other teams, like against each other, but within each other, because oh, it's so it sucks to be sleep deprived. Yeah, <laughs> I agree, Michelle. But also, I wonder. Our season, obviously, there was no public travel, but there were 10 self-driving legs, if you count the Mega Legas 2, each Mega Legas 2. Every racer 
most racers <laughs> that talk that done the amazing race 99.9. say the hardest thing to do is self-drive. Mm -hmm. There's only two or three of those max a season. We had 10. The stress of self-driving, Mike, is the hardest thing to do in the amazing race. Getting from point A to point B yeah. in a foreign country, in a vehicle, in a stick shift, whatever it is, it's the most difficult thing to do in the amazing race. So I wonder, I think what we went through was really hard. Yeah, it was. Really hard. Not exhausting, but just like just stressful. It's but what sucks difficult. about that is that um, it's not interesting for TV. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was gonna say next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's more entertaining of public travel. Public travel yeah. is just yeah. more entertaining. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It, it's not interesting, and there was a lot of drives that didn't get really shown on TV, and but it is very stressful. All right. Let's start with the teams, Mike. Let's go. Oh, before before we get into the teams. Uh, okay. you were telling me a little something before we started. A little surprise oh, going on, yes. right? So we actually know a team. <laughs> we met a team years ago, Mike, back in 2018. What? And we have footage of us hanging out together. Yep. So everybody, start guessing right now. All right, maybe put in the comment section who do you think it is. And we're gonna show that footage today. We are we were in DR having a good fun time. What team do you think that would all be? All right, all right, all right. So you met this team. Did you give them the secret pass to be able to get on the amazing race? Huh? Is it we'll like... talk to, we'll talk about that when we get to <laughs> Okay, them. okay, okay. All right. <laughs> all right, okay. sounds good. Yes. All right, let's get to the racers. Uh here we go. We're gonna start with Jocelyn Chow and Victor Limery. And excuse um, if I get your excuse me if you, if I get your last names wrong or, or any kind of names wrong. So Jocelyn Chow and Victor Limery, both forty nine. Talk to me, Lewis. Forty nine years old. They are married couple. They are team retail love. They own a retail <laughs> store together. They are the cutest couple victor hits me up on instagram ig all the time Does he? he has some great tiktoks oh, yes that's awesome. yes so here here are some positive things and once again when we when we we try to stay away from like um criticizing because we don't know these teams no, that much yet. there's not a lot of information out there yeah. there's just a a video just a, a a 60 second video not even that and sure. and some um some facts about them on the site we didn't even get those facts by the way um Let's see. But some things that I've noticed about them is, yes, they are super fans. Cool. I have here in my notes. They've been watching since season one. I don't know why I wrote that down, but there's they gave away something. Maybe some watching since maybe they stated that. All right. And Mike, I know they've been doing their research. You know why? Because they packed one backpack. One backpack. I remember that. One yeah. backpack. Yes. I don't so think we, we talked about it. I don't think we up. talked about it. How you guys only packed one backpack. But that's uh... yeah, yeah. We mentioned that in like different episodes. Okay. Okay. okay, we okay. Were, Sizing teams up day one, and we would look whoever packed one backpack. Yeah. And Derek and Claire were the team that packed one backpack, yeah. so we knew they did their research. So I know Victor um, also watched the Racers Recap with Justin. That's one of the best shows to watch because they have some great racers on there with some great info. He did his research, and I, 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 I like this team. Okay. I like this team. So for me, I'm so sorry I watch you guys. I think you guys are adorable. Again, we're only criticizing off of what we've seen. Amazing race super fans, like super fans. And since I know that they've been watching since the very beginning, sometimes don't do really well. And this is, I, I feel like they get too inclined into thinking about every single thing they've ever learned. And this is where I'm a little bit like off for them. I love them. I think they're adorable. They're so cute. But they both work in the same thing together. And I know that I had to write I had seen something about grocery store. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like they're missing something. There's it, it they're not gonna get too far, but I love them. <laughs> I don't know. There's you something know, about they, me if they work clicking. together and they have a business together, that's one of the hardest things to do together. So maybe their teamwork is gonna be fantastic. You know, what do we have to wonder? Yes. We have to worry yes. about like um 
what's their problem solving look like? You know, what's their maps look like? Yeah. What's their challenges look like? We don't know. We don't know until we start, until we start. Yeah, seeing it's them. just, it, it, it's when there's two different type of people, you got to share those tasks where one person is going to do one thing, one person is going to do another. So sometimes when you both have um, different abilities, it really helps out. But them being a couple, they're going to have great communication and I think they're going to do good. They're just not going to get too We don't know far. yet. You can start You can start trying to predict, Michelle, but we don't know anything. We don't know I anything. Know. I know. I'm, I'm just, I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she's predicting it. I like, I like what you're saying. Okay. I like okay. what you're saying. I think they're going to do great. I think they're going to do far. And I, I think they were yeah, kind super, of hung in chi a little bit. A little I mean, bit. She did great. They, they did great. Super fans. Yeah, you're because right. They're super fans. They had the backpack. They were married. The, the couples. I, I feel like that's how they're gonna be. Yeah. All right. All right. They look very smart too. Jocelyn and Victor. All right. Good luck, Jocelyn and Victor. Up next, we've got Liam and Jeremy, twenty-three and twenty-four. These boys look tough. These boys look tough. Look at that. Another military team wearing green, baby. <laughs> Liam and Jerry, brothers, 23 and 24. One's a Navy vet. One is a Marine vet. Marine Corps, um, too. They remind Marine Corps. These boys, these boys are in shape. These boys are young. These boys have served our country. These boys have been through the muck. Yep. You know, Mike, there's it, it's hard to replicate the um the the stresses of the race i think people that are in sports people that are professional athletes people that are the military or firefighters people that perform on stage are used to that stress under, under pressure, pressure. Yeah. yeah right police officers they're used to that stress and the pressure so i give them an extra point the only the only thing that you could replicate um the only way to replicate the stress on the race is if you've been on another reality TV show. Derek and Claire, right? Big Brother's team. Big Brother team, they were on camera all the time. They were doing competitions on TV. That's why they went far. All right. Military guys, I give respect to them. I think they're going to do very well. What are some cons, all right? Cons is just age. They're very young. They're very young, yep. You know, in the military, they could be well traveled or they could not be well traveled. You know, usually you're stuck on a base, but you know, it's sometimes there are multiple bases, multiple cities, multiple countries. Um, we don't know too much about them, I, and I don't think they're super fans, right? I don't think I would love to know which teams got scouted and which teams applied. Yeah, because that also yeah. tells you that's going to be interesting. I think it's also going to so, be trouble troubling yeah. for them because um, it says here that they've had a fractured relationship for a long time. So I wonder what their communication mm -hmm. is going to be like, right? That might be yeah. the biggest point in contention here. I'm kind of obsessed with them. I love them. I love Why? them. Why? Because they're cute? <laughs> Watch they're out, Liz. They're looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle's going to invite right. them over for croqueta soon. Watch out. <laughs> I just, I love their personalities. I think they're going to give us great TV. Again, Mike, I remember what you said, that their relationship was fractured. So I think there might be a lot of fights between them. Um, they remind me a lot of Michael and Marcus, mm -hmm. um, just because of their background, brothers, right, right. everything. And I, I think they're going to do really well. And I don't know, there's something about them that I really like. And I hope they work through, if they ever have any mishaps but remember it's always when it comes to these teams it's always like a performance-based challenge or maybe some sort of memory they just because fun. they look physically they look fun. no they look serious i, I think i don't think they're a fun team were i think cool. they're going to be a serious team get down to business and it's always going to be maybe a dance that takes them out some mm. sort of choreography yeah. Yeah. maybe ringing the bells like rex ryan you said if, the, if maybe they were playing that dance, piano <laughs> but you know what mike you know, there, there, they, there is a prototype for the challenge cast. I see these boys on the challenge. Oh, a hundred percent. Give them the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Bam. Start, start making your alliance with them. <laughs> yeah, boys? seriously. Get Lewis on with these baby. brothers, right? Get some fire. As, as long as I got, as long as I get some vacation days, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Liam and Jeremy, good luck to you guys. Who's up next? Andrea Simpson and Melena Hatcher, 44 and 45. Ooh. These girls look like they don't take no shit. <laughs> I'm obsessed with them. 
I think this might be one of my favorite teams. <laughs> they're so cute. No, they're 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 adorable. They're awesome. They look awesome. You could go ahead because you got the facts. So um I actually do you have their ages and stuff? Forty four. So I, Andrea I, Simpson I is forty four and Malena Hatcher is forty five. Yeah, forty five. So yes. the, these two girls, I know they're from Philadelphia. Yep. They they look tough, right? Um, what's what are some cons? I mean, I think they're they're older in age. The two female female teams usually don't make it far in the race. Yeah. yeah. Even I though I root oh, for them. I always root for them. Is this our first female female team? Yeah, it is. Yeah. That we talk about. Yep. Yeah. They they don't unfortunately they don't go too far. And I do I always root for a female female team. Um, but there, what, what are their occupations? So, um, so Malena is a tax friends, examiner, right? uh, technician, and Andrea is a director of credit management. So they're pretty well established in the business world. They seem like they're really yeah, and smart. What, what, what they look really smart. What they said is they love their, well, the most important thing for them was details. So I feel like they're really going to be focusing on the small things. Um, one of them said she's going to keep up with them, even if they're older, because they work out four times a week. Whoa, so I nice. love that. So, you know, they're still like keeping it up as they're older. But one thing that they said, and I was like, oh, don't say, it. I think I read it in their bio. They said, slow and steady wins the race. And that's what Asta and Nina said. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah, it's just, not it's not about being slow or steady. It's like I know what what they're trying to say because like it's about like looking at the clue, making sure you don't skip anything. But slow doesn't win the race. You gotta at least keep that like. I, I guess middle. I guess if we interpret it like you don't have to be first every time, right? To win to win the race, maybe. But maybe sometimes you need like a that tenacity, Mike. Like you gotta want first, right? You oh, gotta 100%, want to win. One hundred percent. We talked Those a lot teams about that. Go before. way further. Um, and you know, Asta, Asta, like Asta from our season, like, is there chatting? Hey, so where are you guys from? Oh, we're from Hollywood. Like, girl, you're in a race. Come on. You got to move Asta, you know? And I guess thank God they did because we were close to getting eliminated that episode. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I also right. saw there was, there's one super fan out of both of them. So... That's also a uh because one is like a major super fan and if they're best friends they're gonna have like different opinions on things. I mean, I guess we'll see. I love their personalities. I think they're great. Well, I was also reading that they said that they don't want to be the mean team, right? We're not gonna be the mean team because we're not mean people. I think we're just vibrant spir mm -hmm. spirits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think you have to be the mean team in order to get far. Um, I think you just got to have the want to win. Yeah. You always have to have a goal at the end. Totally. Like what that. do you think? Yeah. Like that. All right, cool. Andrea, Malena, good luck. And up next is Joe Moskowitz, 35, and Ian Todd, who's 40. They are a recently engaged couple from New York City. Take it away. I think they're going to be a really strong team, Mike. Yes. I like them. Um, I like them. I'm, try I like I'm them trying lot. not to say that about every team. I, I don't think I've said that about every team. Um, but here's here's something about them. They are usually people with d that are diversified and have different upbringings go farther, right? Um, and that, that diversity is good for a team to go far. Um, I think they're very opposite. You know, I think they're very different. Ian, I think, is more of a type A person, more in line. And Joe looks very chill. And I think those two things work good together on the race. And yeah, we'll, we'll see how far they go. Um, I agree. I think they're going to do incredible. They're engaged. So they're already working on their communication together. They've probably been together for a while. They work in tech. So they're smart. They met at a gym. So they're athletic. They look, they look really athletic, athletic yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. Um. I saw that they were both different, which again, I mentioned before that helps out so much in the race. And one of the things that they said is what we said, and this is how we meant to say it too, is that they want to make sure to have fun. 
like to enjoy the experience because the moment that you stop enjoying the experience, then you just start getting frustrated. You start bumping heads and that's the way they explained it. So I know that they meant it just like us and I think they're going to do incredible. So, yeah, but we came across as really, really soft. I hated our first <laughs> virtual interview. But, but in, I hated it. It looks like they ha interviewed them at least each for 30 to minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, we, we got like five, five ten minutes, minutes and we yeah. were stuck in a park all day we were one of the last teams we the to get last, interviewed yeah. for social and, and and it was our one of our first days on camera i don't know i just got nervous like yeah most important thing is to have fun yeah and i'm just like let's have fun like i hated that i hated how we came across <laughs> um i think they expressed themselves better when it came to that mm -hmm. um but you know they, they look good they look good mike are you saying that they're gonna get third place is that uh, where you're getting at we'll see we'll give our <laughs> top three at the end of the episode <laughs> All right. Where are we going Thank to next, Mike? Much. All right. Steve Cargill, 54, and Anna Lee Wilson, 28, father daughter duo. I feel like these two look like they like to have a good time. Wait, they look familiar. Do we know them? They look like they like would like take some Mama Juana shots. Mama Juana Mama and Juana. DR? <laughs> That's them, Mike. Play the video, Mike. Play it. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. And that was oh Anna Lee dancing with Michelle and DR. <laughs> Did not see Steve there. Steve was at the other so bar. So how, how long ago shots. was this? How well, it, all right. This was back in 2018. It was for my sister's 40th birthday big, uh, party. Shut uh, up. Your your party. sister is not over 40. <laughs> yeah, bro. She's old and ugly. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Stop. All right. She's so it was for her 40th, and we went to Punta Cana. Michelle had to leave. It was seven days. Punta trip. Cana or DR? I thought you went to between. Santo Domingo. Oh, that's no, Punta Cana is in DR, bro. Yeah. Oh, my go. bad. My bad. Come on, bro. Okay. I'm not choosing you on basic race, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. You're terrible at geometry. <laughs> <laughs> I need to work on my geometry. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. Oh, yeah uh, Michelle right. had to leave in between. So, Michelle actually never hung out with my sister. But she hung out with Annalie. We met Annalie, yeah. We met Annalie over there. She was just a ray of sunshine. She was super cool, super outgoing. Her, yeah. her family and friends were super nice. Incredible. Steve is such a great guy. Um, and it was honestly so cool to meet them. And then so, Annalise saw us go on the race. Yeah. And I think she had auditioned with one of her friends. Um, and she auditioned with someone else who wasn't working. And when she, when she saw us go on the race, she was like mind blown. Like we kept up ever since, not only because of the race, like we would talk to each other all the time just cause they were such great people. Um, and then I had told her that the show is more about relationships that maybe she could try out maybe with her, her boyfriend at the time, or with, I don't know if they were engaged at the time or married because now they're married. Um, and she was like, I don't think he would like to do it. He doesn't like really like that stuff. But I think my dad would. And I was like, that's that, it. That's, that's, it. The team. that's it. That's it. And like, she kind of like went through, like I helped her out to like, through the audition process, like how she should like portray herself. And she did exactly what the show wants you to do. Just be natural. And she was with her dad at the farm. Doesn't she have like a llama or something? Oh, it's it's. I remember watching a long time ago. Yeah. I'm trying to remember again, but it's a great audition video. And I think she's gonna post this, so you guys gotta watch it. It was like so homey, and it's what they both were. So Michelle, are you taking credit for them being on the race? She no, totally is. She's you know 100. percent She's them. taking credit for it. Look at them. They're fake. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're great. They're great. They're great. We I guess we maybe nudge them in the right direction, but yeah. but their video was awesome, and they're a great a great couple. Like like they're gonna they're they're gonna light up the screen. What do you think about their performance in the race? How do you think they're gonna do? I'm biased, bro. I think they're gonna do great. <laughs> 
I think they're going to do awesome. I'm definitely biased. I know how she trained. Um, I know all the info that I, all the facts that we gave her. Um, so she's a, a spe speech pathologist. pathologist, but she is a traveler. Like yeah. she loves to travel. And her dad, what she mentions is that instead of asking her husband to do stuff around the house, she always asks her dad. So her dad is full on handy. And I just feel like at the very end of their um, interview, they said, um, oh, I wish I can't find it right now. It said something like, um, something like a butterf butterfly sting like a bee. What is that saying? Flutter like a butterfly. Float like a butterfly. Yeah, float, float, thing. Like butterf Fly like a butterfly and sting like a bee. So they're the cutest little mother daughter, uh, sorry, father daughter couple. But they are feisty. They have that Texas spice to them. And I feel like when they need to bring that out, they're going to. And I like that. That that, that gives them drive. What do uh, uh, country folks say when they like? Yeehaw. They, no, no. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> when, they, when they're like, like dissing you, they go, oh, bless yeah, your Yeah, bless your heart. Bless your heart. <laughs> And it's it not you're so an idiot. Nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like so You can nice, say anything about anybody as long as you started with bless your heart. Yeah. Oh, bless and, your heart. And yeah, I know that she's very athletic and her dad worked for this as well. Like they trained for this. And so I'm hoping they do really good because I love father daughter teams. All right. But Michelle, give me the inside scoop. You know, if they go as far as she is as good dancing, how far are they going to go? Since you were dancing with her in Punta Cana, right? She dances great. I'm trying to think. I mean, she didn't do choreography. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Oh, wait. She, I mean, she line dances, too. Oh, there you so, go. Right? There you go. I, th I think, I th yeah, Texas has, oh, like, that, choreography. like, choreography in it because you're learning all those line dances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm sure her dad can do it as well. So I think they would do good in the dance competitions. All right. All right. There we go. There we go. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Steve, Anna Lee, good luck. Let's see who's up next. <laughs> Morgan, yeah. <laughs> Morgan 31, Lena Franklin 29, sisters from New York City and LA. And these sister. sisters are originally from West Palm Beach, Mike. Oh, I didn't know that. As a matter of fact, yeah, I work in Palm Beach County, South Florida. I work in Boca. And CBS News 4 did a report on them because they're local girls. And now uh, they do live on opposite sides of the country. Which is really cool because it also shows that even though they're sisters, it shows their diversity because L.A. and and New York are completely different yeah, cities. Yeah, totally different. Um, both marketing execs, execs, um, super fans. They've done their research. I should have wrote. I should have wrote down why I know that. Um, I like their attitude in the um, in their um, first um, interview. They seem fun but competitive. They said uh, so. One of the things like adding on to yours they said they're gonna race every leg like, like it's a final I like Ooh, so i, like, I that. like that attitude but here's the thing there are it is a girl girl team and i again i hate to say it because i root for this and i feel like girls to girl teams don't make it as far and they did say they're like oil and water so it's good to be different, but that kind of like made it seem like they were way different. They said they weren't physically strong. And I don't know. I think I'm like in the middle. But what I do think is they're going to make smart decisions and work well together. Well, I'm going to give you just, a counter. I, um, if you take a look at Molly and Emily, you wouldn't necessarily think that they're physically strong or, you know, they had never really, they had just met each other, right? Because they're long lost sisters, right? Long lost twins. So maybe, maybe the, 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 uh, the double girl team, you know, sisters so, can so do really well. Twins, bring it, going back to Emily Molly, twins usually suck on the amazing race. <laughs> they usually don't do great. Um, but the thing is, is, is because they're so similar, right? But Emily and Molly are different because they were, raised completely different oh yeah so they're like they're like two strangers that got together even though they had the same exact dna um but yeah usually siblings that that grow up the same are usually the same even though these morgan and lana do seem different um 
I was going to say something else, but I forgot. I mean, they say they're not physically strong, but to me, they look like they're pretty strong. Yeah, they look fine. Looks they're not, and and yeah. they're they're having I mean, this isn't the challenge, right? It's not like you're gonna be doing exactly. something that's serious physical yeah, you're intensity, not gonna right? Pull wrestle a, a, yeah, you're not gonna pull wrestle a dude that weighs thirty pounds more than you. Right, right. And then like only that. show, you know, one round when there was actually best of three, right? <laughs> yeah, we actually scored a point. <laughs> anyway. Anything else? Morgan, <laughs> Lena. Do we think we're gonna? Do I we love think her gonna braids. Right? She looks great. They're beautiful. Love them. I think. Are we? Are we just saying everybody's gonna do all right? Are I, we just being soft here? We don't want to be negative towards anybody, right? I've I've said some down stuff. I don't know. I like There's still a, a couple positive. more. We can Listen, we can go back and 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 re-review afterwards too. I like saying positive things about people because all of these people have a story. They're great people. And I will say the negative stuff when I think it or when I don't think they're strong enough or whatever. It's just that we have so little information, right? I know. We have little information. Yeah, I I just – I don't like doing that because, you know, unlike sports uh, common – people that work in sports and comment on sports, like – they have, they have the, the history of a player. They have past stats. They have, yep. and that's what they base predictions yeah. on. It's so hard to predict here, you know, and yeah. it's we, we just never know. But my thing is what I wanted to continue, and sorry, but um, we watch back almost every podcast to see what they would say about us. And sometimes since our interview wasn't that good, like we would get negative stuff. I want to say a little bit of everything, what I like about them and what I don't like about them, because I know they're probably going to be looking at this. And you know what? I love all teams. If you got there, you're there for a reason. And congratulations. (laughs) Amen. All right, let's keep going. (laughs) <laughs> Up next, Todd and Ashley Martin, both 38 years old, are a married couple from Chino, California. Todd and Ashley. All right. I think this team is the team that is most related to me and Michelle. Yeah. Same. Really? <laughs> uh, yeah. How the, he did his interview was how I wish I would have responded to Michelle having fun. His response is, yeah, and, and the way we have fun is by winning first place. <laughs> and I love that response. And um, I, I do feel she's very similar to Michelle. I'm very similar to him. Uh, they're very tall, right? I think I saw on Instagram they're very tall. Okay. They did and- an interview with like a show or something, and the lady was like, extra small i think they both have to be at least six feet i mean and the co- let's talk yeah. about season 34 though everybody was so tall in season when i met them at the at the final show like and the and the, and the party i was i was like this. i mean i'm five nine i'm not short short but i was like this marcus lewis lewis was, Derek was part and Claire, of the short i was like hey <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and no, and you should have seen how you should have you should have seen how I felt on the challenge, bro. Really? <laughs> like, like, why is everybody in reality TV six foot four? That's why they got picked for that. <laughs> Even my family, it's yeah. like my uncle is six foot one. My dad was six two, right? It's like, and then I'm five nine. Mo- our mother. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're coming up the inside, bro. Anyway, so, yeah, back so to Todd and I Ashley. Feel like- so Ashley and Todd, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, they look like a great couple. They look like a fun, crazy couple. Um, I started. Uh, Ashley started following me. I started following her. They look like they could have a good time. Um, they're both still at a good age. They're thirty eight. They're not too like like they're not much older. What than were their professions again? The, so Todd that. works as a special education teacher, and Ashley is a hospitality mm-hmm. account manager. Okay. Those um, occupations might not fit well for the race. No. Well, hospitality, um, right? But, hospitality might might do okay for the race, right? You got to kind of know this depends what a you little do. bit all about. Yeah, yeah it I depends guess. on what in hospitality, right? Special education mm-hmm. teacher might be okay in thinking outside of the box, right? Thinking how to figure out puzzles mm-hmm. from a different point of view. It might work, but it but I do feel like it's definitely not the, you know, I'm in the military and I can push, you know, just... Read a map. Yeah. <laughs> So here's one of the things that I got from them. Um, It looked like, I don't know if they broke up at some point and they survived like their breakup or something like that. There was like 
but they kind of explain like after everything like they've been through like they've made it so they have great communication um he looks obsessed with her uh so i feel like they look very in love yeah they look very in love i don't think they're love that like they're gonna be very supportive they're gonna motivate each other which was one of the biggest things about lewis and i that helped us go through because instead of fighting through something we're actually pushing each other to get better each and every time so uh the only thing that i didn't really see is if there were fans and i feel like that's what's gonna maybe push them to the level down a little bit I don't think they're no. I don't think they're fans. No, Mm-mm. I well, could be wrong. I think everybody, obviously, that that's on the show is a fan. Yeah, I mean, but I'm saying, but there's like a different a, level yeah. of fandom, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, how many times have you have you seen every single season? How many times have you watched each season? We watch each season twice, maybe even three times. Um, and you know, you listen to podcasts, you listen to to you know Justin over there or Will and James for the pit stop. You know, it's those things add on, man. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of good information over there. What type of fan are you? And I don't think we have that information about them. Yeah, but I think they're gonna do very well. Very cool, Todd and Ashley. I think they're gonna do well too. Let's go next. Robin and Chelsea Day, both forty-one. Robin Tom- Tomich, Tomich, and Chelsea Day, both forty-one. Best friends from Kirkland, yes. Washington, and Shoreline, Washington. And they're yes, and they're both stay-at-home moms. And talking about super fans, they are super fans. Are they super? Super. Can we, can we take a break fans. for a quick second? Can we talk what? about the like huge number of tattoos on this season? Like these ladies, really? this, these ladies, she she has like a half arm sleeve going on there. It looks really cool, and a whole bunch of other teams. They've had a lot of tattoos this season. I'm I'm kind of digging it. I like it. What do you guys I'm think? Never, are there are there any correlation with tattoos and winning? I don't know. We're gonna find out. <laughs> Derek and Claire, do you guys have tattoos? Do Please they? answer. Does, no, I don't think so. I don't so. think so. I don't think so. Does Emily and Molly have tattoos? I. I feel like they might have small ones. Like Will and James don't have tattoos. They would. They're spunky like that. I feel like they would have a tattoo that you wouldn't know about. Emily and Molly. Like you. Does she? <laughs> <laughs> I do, and it's hidden because my father would not let me have a tattoo, so I had to hide it. She got it when she was seventeen. I think I was eighteen. She's a bad child. <laughs> Okay, let's continue. Anyway, anyway, sorry. Back to Robin and Chelsea. <laughs> Best friends. So stay at home moms. What, yeah, I saw that one of them was a bully to one of the other one. <laughs> Growing up, one of them was a bully. Um, one of them lost a lot of weight as well. Chelsea bought VHS tapes on eBay back in the day. Wow. Of, of the Amazing Race, of course. So back when there wasn't any streaming or, or recording, she would buy the VHS tapes. That's crazy, yeah. So Chelsea is a, a huge fan. Robin, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm guessing she's a fan too, but Chelsea really knows her Amazing Race history. All right, so how do we think they're going to do? Robin lost, a, Robin lost 180 pounds. That's amazing. we that got to give her crazy. total props yeah. for that one. Amount. Yeah, that's that incredible. takes a crazy amount of discipline. Um, but yeah, uh, just, I guess some of the negatives is just like their occupation. They're just stay at home moms with, I know taking care of children is not easy. You learn how to do 14 things at once. Um, you know, and that correlates to some things in the amazing race. Uh, but we'll see. I think stay at home moms, I feel like they probably know how to do a lot of different things because they're just taking care of children all day and they got to build stuff and cook and this and clean and blah, 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 blah. I don't know. We'll see. And they look pretty athletic. I think I the challenge know, really is going to be the, the, the traveling, right? The getting around. I think that's always, that's always a big challenge. If you're, if you're taking care of kids or something, you usually kind of like stationary a bit. So I don't know. We'll see how they do, but I think that's probably going to be the biggest yeah. challenge. So with this team, for some reason, I feel like they're going to fight against another team. Oh, really? Like, you know, like how moms, yeah, you know how moms are moms. like those, like, they're like, they're going to defend their child. They're, they will 
be spunky for anything. And they're two stay at home moms. So they're like extra moms. And then the whole bully thing, which I know was a long time ago, but I feel like, I don't know, there's going to be a fight with them and another team for sure. Yeah. Oh, it was a Robin that used to bully Chelsea. Yeah. One yeah. of them. Yeah. yeah right. I don't know which one is which I'm sorry. Yeah. Robin was her seventh grade bully. <laughs> yeah. And they look like they have like tough faces. Like I, I could see some like attitude in there. <laughs> hmm. Definitely going to be very competitive. Let's see how they do. Let's see how they yes. do. Let's see how they do. Let's go up. Uh, let's keep going to the next one. Greg and John Franklin. Greg is 25. Franklin. Uh, John is 27. Brothers from New York City and Mountain View, California. Greg is a software developer and John is a product manager. What do you guys think? Dude, what happened to my nose? <laughs> So my notes what I piece. did see about Greg and John was they love to travel. They're young and athletic. And one of them is a software manager and the other one's a product manager. Yep. So I feel like they're pretty, they're pretty smart. Um, they have a little bit of everything, but I don't know. I didn't see the, the spark in this team for some reason. Really? I think they're cool. They didn't stand out to me for some reason. They stood out to me because I dug into their IG because I followed oh, everyone. There you go. And yeah, did your research. Seemed, like you just said, Mike, the most important thing is how good he could travel, getting from point A to point B. And these two boys are very, very well traveled. Um, and I think they're also very different. Yeah, they are. Um, similar to, was it Morgan and Elena, that they live on different sides of the country? So, yeah. so do they. So very different. They're they're um I and just the fact that they're well traveled, um, and they look like a physical threat too. They do. They do look like a physical threat. I wonder if their endurance is pretty good because you guys were running a lot. Did you guys see how many steps you were taking per uh, per leg? Uh, the the longest leg that we had was in Italy, the mega leg, and we ran what twelve to thirteen miles. Oh, 13 yeah, that's miles. a half that's marathon because right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's because the uh, our camera and, and audio guy they had our they had like watches and stuff. Yeah, so the Apple us. Watch. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we did all the running tasks. That yeah, day. we that's did. Right. We're horrible. exhausted. It was fucking horrible. Yeah, what the hell's wrong with us? <laughs> we got to Jordan and we're like, we're doing a fucking slide puzzle, bro. Fuck <laughs> this running bullshit. Good thing you did that slide puzzle because that was very fast. Very fast. Yeah. Seconds. <clears throat> got that shit done. Well, Michelle got it done in seconds. It's okay. We did it. I like this team. They look like they're pretty. Uh, they have pretty good endurance. I think that's a that's a big thing uh, in in the race. At least to get you past the halfway point of the whole race. You know what I mean? I feel like mm -hmm. after leg, you know, after leg five, leg six, that's the, the endurance that can take you there. So I don't know. We'll see how they do. We'll see I'm how. They sorry, do. I don't know a lot about you guys. I know the main points. I didn't follow the Instagrams, but. Yeah. All right. Up next, we got Rob, who's 48, and Corey MacArthur, who's 25. Father-son duo from Riverside, California, and New York City. This is going to be the team that I think is going to be America's favorite. Really? Um, <laughs> yes. Because the father, he is deaf. Oh, and I he didn't is know that. also a football coach. Yeah, he's he's deaf. He's deaf. He's also a football coach. Um, and uh, Corey, where... My notes are all messed up. Wait, I here think, it is. So I read he was a client. Yeah. Client and analytics. Oh what? I don't know. What oh, that. I don't know. I don't know how. That I don't know notes. exactly what that, I I I had written down client analytics. So it says okay, that Corey is a senior manager of client well, strategy son. and analytics, and oh, there Rob works okay, as so a teaching Corey, assistant and assistant football coach. There oh is. yeah, there, there you is. go. So and and Corey just. Just, just from the little bit that we've seen, um, the little, the the small clips that we've seen, Corey just seems so supportive with his dad, and his mom is also deaf too. So both his oh, parents. Oh wow! Are deaf. Both his parents. Are deaf. And it's um, I, obviously we're all gonna be rooting for this team, kind of like Margie and Luke. Margie and Luke was the uh, mother son team that did three seasons. They did two All Star seasons or the unfinished season, unfinished mm -hmm. um, business season, and an All Star season. And um, even though Luke was was deaf, they still made it very far. 
and they were a very strong team. And it's going to be tough, Mike, because just imagine, you know, um, who's who's going to be driving? Who's going to be giving directions? How how easy, you know, Michelle is barking at me directions, but one person's not going to be able to communicate. It's going to be hard just to – you can't verbally communicate, you know. You, yeah, totally how, right. how are they going to work through that, right? And I think – even even though even though they got that um what do you call it uh not not a, is it a disability mm-hmm. yeah disability yeah. is a word for yeah, it dis- yeah. yeah even though they got this, this that disability i still think they're going to be a strong team man they they're, they're going to do good i absolutely love them i feel like the dad even shines through his disability he's he can't talk but his personality is so good both of them did you just drink from the bottle? Oh, why? I grabbed the bottle. I'm just like, all right, I'm going with this. I was just like, let me grab the bottle. I'm thinking. And I'm just like, my cup is right there. And I'm just like, all right, I'll just look, it looks cool. Um, I think probably one of the things that's going to help him is, is his disability might be a superpower. He could probably zone into the tasks that he has to do. And he could block out all the noise that is probably going along and he could concentrate when everybody else can be distracted. Um, they, his son looks really athletic. He's very supportive. Looks like they'll motivate each other throughout the whole entire race. And I put, wrote down that they watch with their family. So they've been fans from before they would watch this together as a family growing up. So now, Corey's a good looking kid. Stamp, baby, get that boy on the challenge. Let's go. Going with your alliances. Let's go, there baby. There you go. You got to build your team, Lewis. Let's build your team. Yeah, but I'm root- I'm rooting for them. I think they're great. It's funny. I, I started with thinking, you know, oh, they're they're just going to be a middle average of the pack team. But I actually really like them now. Now that you guys tell me a little bit of their backstory, I'm going to have a lot of trouble picking the teams I like this season. Uh, yes, and then can we vibe. talk about what color are they wearing? Damn. At least, third, like at that. least Five. third place. At least third place. Damn. Our homies. <laughs> All right, team, baby. Red yes, team. <laughs> team red. I love it. Yes, team red. All right, cool. Rob, Corey, good luck. Let's see who's next. Joel and Garrett Smith. Joel Strasser and Garrett Smith, forty-two, forty-three, best friends from Kuna, Idaho, and Meridian, Idaho. Joel and Garrett Smith. Let me find my so this notes beard on them. and this mustache Military. is freaking fantastic. I cannot yes. grow a beard. Yes, and this guy if has. There's it. a if there's a team on the season that I want to go out drinking with. One hundred percent. It's these guys. It's these I feel guys. like they they they. <laughs> these guys look like a blast. Dude. Wait totally. a second. I feel like they would have been in our first challenge when you were breaking the ice. They were would be there like with a beer <laughs> in Germany. Yes, chugging, giving Derek the beer that he could chug. Yes, yes. Like these dudes look like so much fun, Mike. Yes. Um, they have military experience. I I believe one wasn't in the military for one. For long, well, the duo met hurt. while serving um, in the military 22 years ago. Yes, 22 years ago. They look good, fun, good energy. Love their attitude. Um, um, hey, they they weren't in the military for long, but that's still experience. And right now, they are what are their occupations? Uh, auto claims training and delivery truck driver. Hey, delivery truck driver, you gotta know directions. You gotta know your way around. Point <laughs> A to point B. That might help them out. Um, they do seem like the most entertaining team. Do I think they're one of they're one of the strongest teams? No. But man, holla, come to Miami, boys. Let's have a drink. <laughs> yeah, they seem really cool. They seem funny. Um, I saw that one of them was a fan. Watch, he started watching while he was in Iraq. So we do have a lot of fans this season, but it just depends on how super fan you are or how not. I just feel like sometimes when people just watch the shows and they're just super fan because they watch the show, but they don't really pay attention to those details that they talk about in the podcast and stuff. Like that's where the fans change on whether you're going to do good as a fan or not. I want to talk about translating watching the show to actual in-game advantage. Do you think that there, like for me, what I'm thinking, I've, I've been watching the show for 10, 12 years now, but 
do you uh, i i have a feeling that even if you're there's there's some little things here and there packing one bag you know or learning some kind of specific strategies things like that but in the actual race race even if you watch the amazing race or if you don't watch the amazing race this is my opinion right i don't feel like it gives you that much of an advantage what do you guys think i i think it depends how you watch the race right if you watch it all the time talking about you know, if you're with your spouse and you talk about, oh, who's doing this roadblock? Who's the, what detour we're going to do? And, and if you look at it as a competitive, as a competitor, then maybe it could help. But you're right, Mike. It, it doesn't tell you much. The most you have to do your research outside the show to be the best competitor you could be. So, yeah. Yeah, there's just small details. Like you said, the backpack, knowing that you got to get really close to the actual sample of it. Um, I made that mistake because I didn't find it, but like so many small little details that could just help you. And it gives you like two minutes, but it could take you probably from that second place to that first place. Right. right. And maybe like making sure you always read the clue, right? That's the tip number one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And it's, it's crazy. Cause you could, that's the main thing we instilled in our head over and over again. And when you're on the race, you're so nervous and so many nerves and you miss so many things sometimes like yep. you will miss over a part of the clue. Yep. It's crazy. Yep. All right, Joel and Garrett. Uh, I like you guys. I'm going to put them straight at the middle of pack for me. Uh, I think they're, they're super fun to hang out with though. Next up, Elizabeth and Ileana Rivera, 52-27, mothered another mother-daughter team. Or is this the only yeah, mother-daughter? Uh, uh, there's a father-daughter. No, uh, father, mother father, father They're Puerto Rican, too. A Puerto Rico! Ooh, a Puerto Rico! What's up, Morigua? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, mother-daughter team. Uh, one is a retired lieutenant. Um, and Eliana is, is a entrepreneur. Um, they're going to, they admit to bumping heads. So they admit that they admit they're going to do some, you know, some fighting on the race. Um, and on their bio, they said the most important thing is to read the clue. So I guess they have been doing the research, you know, reading the clue nice and slow. That's huge. Um, and yeah, that's what I got for them. I have a yeah, quote Yeah, I love here. their personalities. They said, oh, okay, go for it. We need those million dollars. This is from uh, from Ileana, right? We need those million dollars. So I don't need to work eight jobs anymore because I'm tired of it, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like an event planner and she does other things. I guess she has like multiple jobs. She's a, she's a hustler, bro. She's Puerto Rican. Now. That's what we do. We hustle. 100%. That's so funny. Yeah, I just. I love their energy. I think they're going to be great. But being a mother daughter, it's hard to be a parent and a kid when you bump heads, because I feel like if I were to go in this with my mom, we bump heads a lot of I will, we're just I like, to go with your mom. <laughs> oh, man. She's going to listen to this. She, she knows. Nice. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> um, I just think it's going to be very hard because I know my mom would be like, let's go this way. And we would spend at least a minute deciding whether we go her way or my way back and forth over and over. And I think that's going to happen a lot with this team. And a Puerto Rican mom, I feel like she's going to be tough. <laughs> Look, I, I just fighting on TV makes for great TV. So this but is going to be just a great, great season. Great. This is just going to be a fantastic <laughs> yeah. season. Exactly. So, how do you think? How do you think? Uh, how do you think they're gonna do? They're gonna do all right. Oh, we'll, do, we'll discuss our top three later. All right. Sounds good. I don't know. All right. Last one up. Okay. We've got Alexandra and Sheridan Lichter, thirty-four, twenty-nine, sister brother duo from Chicago. They are both consultants. Shout out. Shout thirty-four, out. twenty-nine, both consultants. I I have here. They're super fans. They're also well traveled, and they look like best friends for siblings. You know, I, I think one of the hardest combos is, is a sibling relationship. They obviously fight a lot, but they I don't get this. I don't get their their a uh, uh, fighting vibe from them. I don't get that sibling hate. They live together too. Yeah, and they work together. They look the same a lot business. alike. They look like twins, right? <laughs> so I think this is gonna be the very 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 smart team. Why? Because they wear glasses. <laughs> no, no, because of. <laughs> 
what was it? I, 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 their occupation, I guess. That's why I wrote, what are their occupations? They're consultants. Consultants. No, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe because they're wearing <laughs> As you drink <laughs> your <laughs> bottle. I don't know where, I don't know what you want to do. So I just do both. <laughs> I don't know. They gave me a vibe. I'm not going to say it. So I just felt this team needed a little bit more drive for the competition. They just look like they're going to have a real, they they look like what we said in our interview, but like what we said, not how we felt. Like they're just here, they're happy. No, and and, and you they're... know what? People people could be very smart, but just because you're very smart doesn't mean you make it far. Once again, um, it's a team that doesn't know how to play under pressure. Um, how are they under pressure? How, how athletic are yeah, they? There's, it's one thing to be because they look like they're in shape. Yeah. But it's one thing to be in shape and one thing to be athletic. Two different things. I just, I, they, he, I think he said something towards the end that he was like, oh, okay, I mean, if we win million dollars, that'd be fun too. Like, <laughs> it was just, I needed that, like, drive. Like, we're here to win. And I didn't get that from them. The drive we didn't have in our first video. Yeah, no, but he was. I mean, if they would have asked us, or, what would you do with a million dollars? Or are you going to get a million dollars? We'd be like, yeah, we are. He was just, I don't know. They just, they're cute. <laughs> I just can't wait to this because we have these perceptions on, yes. on these 13 teams. At the end of the day, we have no idea who they are, but they all look amazing. This cast looks amazing. Very excited, Mike. All right. And I can't, and, and we're going to have that perception. And then we, when yeah. we see how they are, we're like, damn, this, that's, that's nothing how I thought they were. All right. Croqueta oh, chat game, right? Next episode, we're going to say our top three right now, right? And if we're wrong, we got to take a shot. What do you think? Cool. Well, we're, are we going to say our top three for the whole entire episode? I mean, for the whole season? Yes. Well, so, so let's say our. Top three for the whole season. And then let's say who's going to get first place next week. Got Just it. Let's one. do that. Let's do that. That sounds great. And then the shot is for the one. For the first place for, for the first episode. Got it. I like that. I like that. Yes. And then we'll we'll open it up to the, uh, the comments down below. For episode two, you let us know what we're going to be doing if we get it wrong. All right. My top three. You ready? Go, Lewis. Number one, first team of my top three is, of course, because I'm biased, Steve and Annalie Cargyle. <laughs> she's not even, her last name's not even Cargyle anymore because she's married. Annalie Wilson. And my next team is the team that reminds me, I'm doing a thing here, okay. Michelle. Leave me alone. <laughs> the team that reminds me of us. Ashley and Todd. Ashley and Todd. Bam! And the last team, Mike. Now, I want to pick between one of the three male male teams. Nope, you got to pick one. There are three male male teams that I like. Yep. Yeah. And I think they're gonna. Three of them are gonna do very well. And I'm gonna have to pick. It's just it's known that male male teams usually get very far. But they don't make it to the very. I'm gonna end go ahead and go with the uh, with the Marcus and Michael this season. Joe and Ian, Jeremy and Liam. Jer why? Why is my auto correct? All my names <laughs> on my on my notes are all like switched up. I'm just like, like I had here Fred and John. I think my auto correct changed to Greg, <laughs> I, or from Greg to Fred. I, so whatever. Jeremy I'm and sorry. Liam. Jer that was your that Jeremy was your number three. Oh, oh, wait, no, Joe and Ian, Joe and Ian are the gay couple. I'm sorry. I didn't mean them. So you, Liam and Jeremy. Yeah. So you're talking about Joe and Ian or are you talking about? No, no. I want the military guys. <laughs> Liam and, and Jeremy. Jeremy. That's a good pick. Yeah. There you go. All, yeah. right, all right. And my sleeper pick, my sleeper pick is <laughs> sleeper pick? Robin Corey. What's Dad a and son. A sleeper means like, even though they're not the, the, you don't think they're the best on paper. They're going to go far because they're like the underdog going Got far. It. That's my sleeper pick. Okay. Robin Corey. All right. So you said Anna Lee. You said Todd and Ashley. And then last was Liam and Jeremy. Liam and Jeremy. 
is it Jeremy or or still Jay Jeremy? Uh, here know. it says Jeremy we'll with out. a Y, so I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna believe uh, what this uh, IG page says. And then you said your sleeper pick. I'm sorry, Lewis. Who was it? My sleeper pick was uh, Greg and um, uh, no, sorry. Oh uh, gosh, Corey. Uh, Rob and Corey. Rob and Corey. Oh, Rob and Corey. Rob and Corey. Oh, God, so yeah. sleeper sleeper is Rob and Corey. You know that? That's okay. Pretty cool. I like your I like your picks. I like your picks. Michelle, you're up. Okay. So no surprise here. I'm biased and I love my girl. So I'm going to go for Anna Lay Cargyle. <laughs> Why are we saying that? Why is it Car? It's not Cargyle anymore, Why guys. Why are we saying Cargyle? She, her last name is. <laughs> that's, that's his last name. That's his last Steve, name. Steve, right? Steve. Yeah. Steve. Steve and I Anna Lee. He is so awesome. Yes. Steve and Anna Lee. Yeah. Texas. Yep, I gotta pick them. Okay, number two. And then, can you go? Yeah, can you go back because I just don't know names. Sure. Okay, my second, I'm gonna go for. I know that they. Uh, here's the thing. I think they'll do good, but I'm not sure. But I gotta go with the red team because red team. Red, we got Rob and Corey. I love their personalities. I'm. I. I think they're gonna do good. Rob and Corey. I, I, I want to root for them, and I'm gonna push for them. There you so go. That's, that's my pick. And who is your <laughs> number three? And then, <clears throat> ooh, I was gonna go for the guys that you said because I think they would have been strong. But um, I'm gonna go for the engaged couple, the two guys. Oh, there we go. Joe we got Joe and yep. Ian. Yep, and I guess if I do the sleeper team, then I'll grab the team that you did. I just want to do something. Different. Yeah, but that's not a sleeper. That's not though. a sleeper oh. though. A sleeper is the ones that Liam, you. Think. Liam and Jeremy looks. Liam and Jeremy looks strong. Like you got to think okay, underdog. Cool. Yeah. So let, let, Okay. Oh, are we doing a sleeper team then? Yeah, do a sleeper team. Who do you think is gonna? Who, who do you think okay. is your sleeper team? Oh, I know who you should pick. My sleeper team is. Can you go down a little bit? Yep. No, go up. Oh well. No, go up. Okay, keep going. Okay. My sleeper team. I want to pick the girls in pink. Oh, that's a good sleeper girl. pick. Yeah, Andrea and Melena. Yeah. Melena. I feel like they're, they, they'll they have, especially on this season with the um, airplane and everything, their personalities are going to get them good friendships and alliances that will help them push through. Very cool. Very cool. I like it. All right. My turn. First for my picks is actually Joe and Ian. I really oh, like, ooh, yeah, right there, I like Joe and Ian. I think they can overcome. I like, I like their vibe. I like their vibe. I think they're going to do well. Second, my second pick is actually Jocelyn and Victor. Oh, retail love. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. And okay. I'll tell you why. They give me a big, uh, I'm sorry if I'm going to butcher their names. Uh, who was it that uh, two or three seasons ago? Chun and tongue and chi. Tongue and chi. Cheap. Sorry. Oh, my God. Hung and chi. Hung and chi. Yep. They give me big hung and chi vibes. And I don't know. They look like there's just, you know, there's, there's sometimes there's an Asian team that just kills it. And they do re really, really, really well. And I think... Yeah. They might be it. They both beat us last year's season. <laughs> <laughs> I think they might be it. And then for third, uh, my third is tough, but I think, I think for third place, I'm going with Liam well, and Jeremy. I, I wasn't choosing first, second, third. We we're just choosing our favorites. Oh, right? top, top three, top three. Oh, okay. I'm not saying that they're going to okay. be third got place. It, got it, got it. Oh, okay, yeah. okay third out of all out of all out of all the teams it's gonna be Le oh, yeah. liam okay. and Jeremy. i think they're oh, you got a strong one of both of ours <laughs> yep yep i think i think they're gonna do pretty well and my sleeper pick is actually gonna be the ones with the glasses alex and sheridan Ooh. yeah you know some people always think you know oh, they're kind of chill you know they got they got glasses they don't seem like they're they've got a lot of drive potential Look at Derek. You know, Derek has glasses. Do you know you know why I said they <laughs> you have glasses? It's because of their glasses. They remind me of a team that was a couple. 
and they were very smart. That's why I confused them. What it was uh, the team? Uh, uh, Alana and there were a couple, and they went to. I think they went to Yale and everything. That's why I think like I got a little confused with them. But yeah, okay, so we got our favorites. And yep. Now we got to pick first place on the first leg. Who do we think okay, is going to get so... first place on the first leg? All right, so let me see here now that I got my glasses on. Uh, <laughs> now, I'm a, now I'm a top three team, according to Mike. <laughs> I'm picking my sleeper pick, baby. Let's let's put them in first. Let's, put, let's go ahead and get, okay, get uh, okay. uh, Rob and Corey. Right there, they're my my, like my sleeper pick. I want them to to get first place next leg. So that's my that's my pick. Got it. Lewis says Rob and Corey first place. If you get this right, you don't have to take a shot. I'm pretty sure you'll take a <laughs> shot anyway. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, you're up. Okay. Um, I'm going to pick one of, actually. No, you know what? I'm going to go for the team that's like us. They communicate well. Um, they look like they're they they're striving to get first place. They seem very competitive. And I think this since they got their communication skills on, they'll probably get first. Todd and Ashley? Mm -hmm. Todd and Ashley. I'm sorry. I don't know anyone's name. I promise I'll learn them by next episode. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of teams, too. Yeah, yeah, it's more yeah. More than usual. Yeah. All right. And who do I think is going to get first place? You know, I feel like first place is such a grab bag because, you know, it's the first leg. Everyone gets really nervous. And I really think it could be anyone, really. But yeah, you got to you got to think of who will. And for our season, it was Derek and Claire and they well, I was surprised they did great in direction since they were so young, which they had trained for. Yeah. I thought they were going to mess up with the maps and stuff. Um, but I think their experience with TV and everything really helped them to yeah. not be nervous that first leg. Yeah. So I am going to go for Joe and Ian getting first place. Ooh, that was, that was actually my next pick. Yeah. yeah. Yep, I think okay. I think they look confident. They look strong. Mm -hmm. You know, I I have a really good vibe. I really like uh, I really like them. I think they're they're cool. They're cool dudes. And I think they're gonna get first. Yes. Boom, Mike. We're gonna be out in Miami because uh, D. She's a, a new cast member on the, this new season of Survivor. So we're going to be, I forgot where we're going to. So we're going to be out there, follow our socials. We're going to be supporting our Survivor Miami girl. And then afterwards, we'll watch the race. Um, and, and yeah, any other news? Any other topics? Mm, I don't know. That's it. I can think of. That's it. I'm excited. Mike, it's, you got anything? It's, it's on uh, Wednesday, right? On the 27th? Yeah. I'm actually going to be in New York. I've got some work Ooh. going on, so I'll be hanging out. I think they play the Amazing Race. You know, maybe mm -hmm. if there's any New Yorkers out there, you guys know uh, uh, I'm going to be in Manhattan. If you know any bars or any uh, anywhere they that's going to be, always do watch parties. Oh, yeah. I think there's a New York team. Oh yeah, there's, if there's a New York the, team, the, if something's happening, yeah. you let me know. I'll show I up. Like, yeah, so there's I a think, few of these teams that are doing premiere parties. So I think Annalie was telling me that they were trying to make the party in new york because there's a few teams in new york huh. but she's out in somewhere she's traveling right now so she won't be making it so if you if you know of any party going on down in manhattan you let me know i'll show up get okay. me a watch party I going. like it cool let's go. all right let's go all guys right, thank you guys so much go. for joining us on croqueta chat lewis what do you think exit notes Woo! croqueta Chat episode one of the season.